Hi everyone, in this video I am going to talk about structure of mRNA or messenger RNA. As you all know, mRNA is a type of RNA and it is called as messenger RNA because it carries messages or genetic information that are essential for the synthesis of protein. And this mRNA received the genetic information or the message from the DNA. So, genetic information from the DNA is first transferred into mRNA by the process called as transcription. Later, this mRNA directs the synthesis of protein by the process called as translation or protein synthesis. Like that of any other type of RNA, even mRNA is made up of a single strand or it is a single stranded molecule consisting of sequence of a nucleotide. And this sequence of nucleotide consists of genetic information. So genetic information in the mRNA is in the form of a codon. What do you mean by codon then? Codon is a group of three successive nucleotide or three successive nucleotide group together to form a one codon and each codon codes for a particular amino acid. Apart from having codon, mRNA have several other parts. So we will discuss the different parts of mRNA in the structure of mRNA. As you can see in this diagram, this is a prokaryotic mRNA and this is a eukaryotic mRNA. There is a slight difference in the structure of prokaryotic and eukaryotic mRNA. That's why I am going to discuss it separately. First let me talk about prokaryotic mRNA. As you can see in this diagram, this is a prokaryotic mRNA. As I already told, mRNA is a single standard molecule which has a two end that is 5 prime end and a 3 prime end. So this is a 5 prime end and it's a 3 prime end. The 5 prime end of the prokaryotic mRNA consisting of triphosphate group or 3 phosphate group is present to the 5 prime end of the prokaryotic mRNA. This triphosphate group is followed by a sequence known as Shine Dalgarno sequence. Shine Dalgarno sequence consisting of purine rich nucleotide. Purine means adenine and guanine. So, this sequence consisting of adenine and guanine rich nucleotide. This sequence is of great significance because the Shine Dalgarno sequence is the one which facilitates the binding of mRNA to the ribosome during translation or during protein synthesis. That's why it is also called as ribosomal binding site because it is this site which facilitates the binding of mRNA to the ribosome. So, prokaryotic mRNA begins with the 5' end consisting of triphosphate group followed by Shine Dalgarno sequence which together called as 5' UTR. UTR means untranslated region. What do you mean by untranslated region which is not translated? So though it consisting of a sequence of nucleotide or codon, it will not code for any kind of amino acid during translation or during protein synthesis. That's why it is called as untranslated region. Because it is present towards the 5 prime end, it is called as 5 prime untranslated region or UTR. Followed by this 5 prime UTR region is a coding sequence. This coding sequence starts with the point known as a start codon. Start codon is nothing but the AUG codon. And it is this point where the translation of protein synthesis begins. That is why it is called as a start codon. And this coding sequence ends with a stop codon. Stop codons are UAG, UVAA and UGA. As the name indicates, this stop codon is a point where the translation ends or termination of the translation begins in this region that is in the stop codon region. So between this start codon and the stop codon is a coding sequence. Coding sequence is a point or the region which consisting of sequence of codon that codes for a particular amino acid. So it is this region which consisting of sequence of codon which codes for a sequence of polypeptide during the translation or during the protein synthesis. So coding sequence is of great significance because it is this region which produces the essential protein during the translation or during protein synthesis. So after this coding sequence is a 3' UTR region. UTR region means an untranslated region. So this untranslated region is present towards a 3' end. That is why it is called as 3' UTR region. And it is present towards a 3' end. 3' end also consisting of an OH group. So 5' end consisting of triphosphate group and 3' end consisting of OH group. So that is about the different structure that is present in prokaryotic mRNA. 
Now let me talk about the structure of a eukaryotic mRNA. Even this eukaryotic mRNA consisting of a single stranded or it's a single stranded molecule with the two end that is 5 prime and the 3 prime end. This eukaryotic mRNA consisting of many parts like 5 prime cap, 5 prime UTR, coding sequence, 3 prime UTR and poly A10. We'll discuss this part one by one. First one is 5 prime cap region. So it is present towards the 5 prime end of the eukaryotic mRNA. And this cap region is nothing but the addition of modified nucleotide known as 7 methyl guanosine triphosphate. So this 7 methyl guanosine triphosphate is added to the 5 prime end of the eukaryotic mRNA by the enzyme known as guanyl transferase. So this guanyl transferase will add the modified nucleotide called 7 methyl guanosine triphosphate to the 5 prime end of the eukaryotic mRNA. And that process is called as capping. So capping is a process of adding of cap that is 7 methyl guanosine triphosphate by guanyl transferase enzyme. This cap is of great significance because it is this cap which protects this mRNA by the degradation from nucleases enzyme and it also helps during the initiation of a translation step. So that is about the first part that is 5 prime cap. Followed by this 5 prime cap is a 5 prime UTR region. UTR means untranslated region. So even eukaryotic mRNA have this 5 prime UTR region or 5 prime untranslated region. So it is a region which is not translated during translation or during protein synthesis. So though it consisting of sequence of nucleotide, it will not be translated during the protein synthesis. Followed by this 5 prime UTR region is a coding sequence. Coding sequence is a very important region because it consisting of codon which codes for a amino acid. This coding sequence begins with a point known as a start codon. So start codon is nothing but the AUG and it is at this point the translation or protein synthesis begins and that codon is AUG codon. And coding sequence ends with the stop codon. Stop codons are UAG, UVAA and UGA and it is at this region termination of translation takes place or termination stops at this region. Between this start codon and the stop codon the coding sequence is present. Codon sequence is nothing but the sequence of codon which codes for sequence of polypeptide or this coding sequence is a region which produces sequence of polypeptide or polypeptide chain during translation or during protein synthesis. That's why coding sequence is of great significance because it is this part which will produce protein that is needed by the cell. Followed by this coding sequence is a 3 prime UTR region. 3 prime UTR means untranslated region which is present towards a 3 prime end. So this untranslated region is a sequence of nucleotide which will not be translated during the translation or during protein synthesis step. Followed by 3 prime UTR region is a poly A10. As the name indicates, poly A means numerous adenine nucleotides are added to the 3 prime end of the eukaryotic mRNA. So, of about 150 to 200 adenine nucleotide are added to the 3 prime end of the eukaryotic mRNA by the enzyme known as poly A polymerase. So, poly A polymerase will add numerous adenine nucleotide to the 3 prime end of the eukaryotic mRNA and that process is called as a tailing. So, tailing is a process where poly A tail is added to the 3 prime end of the eukaryotic mRNA by the enzyme poly A polymerase and that part is called as poly A tail. So, poly A tail will stabilize the mRNA. So, that part is of great significance because it stabilizes the mRNA. Apart from this structure, the mRNA which is produced soon after the transcription which is called as primary transcript or HNRNA also had non-coding sequence. Apart from having coding sequence, it also had non-coding sequence. Coding sequences are called as exons and non-coding sequences are called as introns. But later, these non-coding sequences are removed and coding sequences are joined by the complex known as spliceosomal complex. And that process of removing of introns and joining of exons is known as splicing. So, three main steps that is capping which is nothing but the addition of 7-methyl-guanosine to 5 prime end of the eukaryotic mRNA tailing which is nothing but the addition of poly A tail to the 3 prime end of the eukaryotic mRNA and third one is splicing which is nothing but the removal of introns and joining of exons to form a coding sequence. These are the three main steps that are done during the post-transcriptional modification. 
post transcriptional modification means a modification that is done to mrna after the transcription and three steps are capping tailing and splicing so this post transcriptional modification will change the immature mrna or hnrna or primary transcript into a mature rna or functional mrna so that is all about the structure of prokaryotic and eukaryotic mrna now let me talk about the function of mrna as you all know mrna play a very important role during the protein synthesis or during the translation mrna is the only type of rna which consisting of codons which is complementary to the sequence of dna that is essential for the synthesis of a protein this mrna also direct and controls the addition of amino acid in a proper way and in a proper position to synthesize a required protein that is essential for the cell this mrna consisting of codon which is essential for the protein synthesis will carry this codon from the nucleus to the site of translation or site of protein synthesis that is ribosome which is present in the cytoplasm so this codon from the nucleus is transported into the ribosome which is present in the cytoplasm by mrna molecule so that is all about the structure and function of mrna i hope this video will be useful if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you